a career. in South Korea in 2014. Ilbet is an extremist group that consists of anti-social people who target social minorities such as women and sexual minorities. In 2014, the Seoul Ferry disaster left many teens dying inside a sinking ship with no apparent help coming for them. So bereaved the families wanted to, know the, wanted to know the truth. So they went on hunger strike. At that time, something unthinkable happened. The members of ILBEC started to binge strike right next to these ribbing parents. They ate pizzas and they ate chicken right next to these ribbing parents. Can you believe it? Do you think it's normal behavior? This is distorted collectivism. Good evening, my name is Chan Song Kim and I major in sociology. Korea is represented as a collectivist country, so are we going well? <coughs> Unfortunately, no. Distorted collectivism is operating in the political, social, economic parts in Korea. So as a sociology student, I decided to talk about why distorted collectivism in Korea has happened in 2017, and why this is a problem, and what are the solutions are. I divided this problem into three dimensions for better understanding. The first one is the individual dimension and the group dimension. Finally, the national dimension. So, why this is a problem? First, the individual dimension. As you guys know already, Korea's economy developed very rapidly since the 70s. So each person has, does not have enough time to establish their own identity as an individual person. So fortunately, they just follow what the majority do. They just lose their own judgment on problems. This is a sad thing for an individual person. Second one, the group dimension. According to social identity theory by Caspel and Turner, people in a group can, can have only in-group identity and they just feel kind of like bad about to the other um, people. Like they feel horrible, horrible ill feeling against, the, like, against those outside of group. And sometimes it can be very ex ex expressed in an extreme way, just as you can see in Korea nowadays, in the pictures. And last one is the national dimension. Conflict between groups can disrupt social integration. And sometimes, beyond the, the problem within the group, it can cause like one group against the other group. And then finally, it disrupts social integration. And even, it disrupts national development. Well, this is kind of complicated social problem, and unfortunately, we are still in the process of analyzing these situations. So it's very difficult to say what the best solution is. However, having seen this problem for a long time as a Korean, I would like to make three suggestions. First is, of course, the individual dimension. Self-examination is very important. According to Hug and Molly, when people get into a group with unstable conditions, it's easy to deny ego identity and instead choose collective identity. So it's very important to make people, to encourage people to make their own decision so that they do not follow the wrong path. Second, the group dimension. Social movement will be a powerful way for everyone. As you guys know about the power of social movement already, we need to try to elect, elect the civic movement in, in situations so that we can just inform people how it is like dangerous and then how easy to fall into distorted collectivism in Korea. Finally, the national dimension. 
We need to change our education system. Fortunately, I wasn't taught how to speak my own opinion in my classroom when I was in high school and middle school. It's a very sad thing. But at the same time, it's a very common stuff in Korean classroom. I think we need to change our education system. Let the people speak what they want. And let the people speak, uh, let the people encourage sharing their opinions. This is going to be very helpful to prevent distorted collectivism. So today, we'll, we'll take a look at the distorted <coughs> collectivism in Korea, and then the reason why cultural led hostility towards outsiders disrupting social integration. Fortunately, not only, solution, uh, not only problems, I already suggested some solutions. Self-examination, civic movement, changes of education system. This guy this is going to help us to prevent our distorted collectivism. Well, if we just look away from what we are facing now, it will get worse and worse. But just don't worry, we are not too late. We can still make changes. If we just follow my suggestions, we can remove distorted collectivism from Korea. And we can even look for a healthy mindset in Korea altogether. Thank you.